My dad was involved in 4-H as a kid, so he wanted us to try that experience, give it a shot. We learned baking, we learned gardening, floral arrangements. There was the opportunity to enter um, a welding sculpture, and my dad's a machinist, so it kind of started from there. I wasn't very confident in my welding skills. I had taken a little bit of um, metals classes. Honestly, I didn't have a wonderful experience, and that kind of forced me to, I want to grow and change from that. and make somebody else, help somebody else have a better experience than what I had. Going into my senior year of high school, I did an independent study, so I kind of got to create that own curriculum for myself, and I worked um, with the tech to do dual credit classes, so I did some like thermal cutting classes, learned how to um, cut with a torch, use a plasma cutter, things like that. And I was like, this is, this is it. This is the thing I really want to do. I want to teach this. I want to, you know, help others. Um, get our industry and our local economy built up so that um, my community is a place people want to stay. So I kind of followed in both of my parents' footsteps. Um, my, both of my parents graduated from NTC and my grandma as well. I'm on my path to get my bachelor's to teach technology education. So I'll be um, credentialed to teach welding, graphics, CAD, um, kind of a wide array of subjects. So I'm going into um, UW-Stout with pretty much over 75% of my credits completed out of tech school. It's just crazy to hear, and I can't tell you how much it saved my wallet, too.